in the football frenzy that fans are now during the World Cup. 2018, there is another exciting thing in store for them. FIFA 19 marks the return of the yearly sports title and this time around will showcase a bunch of new and exciting features that you can read about below. FIFA 19 features being a yearly title, it could be really tiring for the series to bring something new and innovative to the table that is refreshing and at the same time, a win for the fans. Of all the annual titles like Call of Duty series and Assassin's Creed, FIFA always has a job of bringing something fresh to distinguish itself from the previous entries. Thankfully, straight from AirPlay 2018, we have a bunch of information regarding the new features and game modes that will make the way into the football game fans have been waiting for. Champions Rise on September 28th. This is at Champions League. For years now, FIFA lacked some sort of authenticity in its football experience by neglecting the UEFA Champions League in the game. This year, that will change as we saw from the trailer at E3 2018. Moreover, we have some more information from Games Creative Director, Matt Pryor, thanks to an interview right after the conference. In it, he mentions how they have always wanted to bring back this prestigious league back to the video game and how fans have been asking for it for such a long time. Players will now be able to play solo through a Champions League mode in the game where they can choose any team and take part in the competition. Alternatively, players can choose to play the career mode where they will be able to qualify for the Champions League and start their journey of chasing that silverware. Via the UEFA license, you can expect all the respective leagues, Champions League, UEFA Euro Cup, and the Super Cup. Furthermore, the cinematic journey mode will see Alex Hunter end his story arch by competing in this most important league at club football level. Lastly, FIFA 19 will overlap the events of in-game with that of the outside world through online aspects of FIFA Ultimate Team. Each UEFA Champions League match will have an effect and impact on what you can do in the game. The tech on the pitch at its core, it is always about the gameplay itself that sets FIFA apart from its counterparts. This year, the director explained they have revamped the technical system that goes in to enhance the dribbling, touching, trapping, and striking the ball. The physics of these mechanics have been improved and the animations have been reworked to provide more authenticity, fluidity, and responsiveness. Players will now be able to pretend to trap the ball to play mind games with the opponents. The new flex system has also been introduced that allows the player to use the right stick to drive home some wicked volleys just to achieve more control of the ball. A certain depth has granted to the tactics system that now you can customize to your liking and playstyle. Looking to have quick wingers go forward while the midfielders stay back be the guest. A new feature allows you to shoot the ball more accurately and with more power. This will be possible if you time your second press of the shoot. But as soon as the striker's animation to strike the ball starts. However, if the timing is incorrect, the shot may fly over the net. So you need to assess the situation carefully and respond accordingly. Lastly, 50-50 battles for the ball during the match have been significantly improved. There will now be collisions that are more realistic and everything from the football players. Body master his angle will be judged when such a 50-50 situation arises. Not all of these features will be there just for the one playing. But you can expect something similar from the AI as well. Every team's trademark style of play will be in the game so for e.g. Playing against Manchester City will feel like you are being pressed and pressured more than say West Ham. Stay tuned for more as we near the launch of FIFA 19. On September 19, 2018 on Xbox One, PC, and PS4.